hello to all my lovely subscribers. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you all that the yearly readings for 2022 um, are out. I have posted those and they are available for you to book your own personalised yearly reading via my website. Please note that this offer is only available till January 31, 2022. So it's a limited time offer. So if you're interested, make sure that you book your yearly reading before that offer expires so that you don't miss out. Hello my lovely Virgo, welcome to your reading for November 2021. This is a general reading for you Virgo. It's a reading for Virgo sun rising and moon sign. If you would like to book a private reading, I'm just listening to my guides. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. My yearly readings, if you've missed the introduction, my yearly readings are out for 2022. If you'd like to book a yearly reading, that's a limited time offer. It's available to book till the end of January 2022. So if you want that one, make sure you get in before the offer expires. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel and commenting. I really appreciate your support. If you like this video and would like to give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. helps to get my video out there and um, circulating, which helps me bring more of these videos to you. So let's get on with your channeled uh, message for November 2021. I feel like um, a Virgo. November for you is a time of movement it's a time of um, looking at what's important in life so you're going to be really looking at well what's important in life um, looking at reassessing evaluating where you work how you work uh, is it bringing you the satisfaction or are you working to provide uh, the, mater the materially what you're needing uh, if you've got more than you need are you why are you doing it so that it looks good to other people, uh, it's going to you're going to be asked to evaluate that. You're going to have a sense of, oh, am I satisfied with my life? That's what I'm hearing with my guides. Am I satisfied with my life? Am I happy to sit here where I am and and live this life, or do I need more? That's what my guides are saying. That's that's what they're bringing into me. It's it's they're showing it to me like the thinker. You know the statue is. The thinker, um, where you're thinking, what's the purpose? What's the meaning of life? You're asking the big questions this month. You want there's more. You want more depth, more satisfaction out of what you're doing, rather than simply getting on that sort of merry-go-round of life um, and and just happily going along not questioning there's question you're questioning you're questioning uh, things about your life you're questioning um, what you're doing and how what you're doing how you're doing and how are you living it's not just with work it's your personal life as well um, is it giving you the satisfaction that you're wanting the satisfaction that you're seeking um, that's what's being channeled. So let's have a look at, I'm going to draw a card from the Archetypes deck. Let's have a look at um, what that holds for you. Let's see, this also will speak of the, um, I'm using these this month to look at the overall energy. Thank you, there it is. The overall energy of the month for you. <clears throat> It's interesting because you've got the castle. What does a castle mean? A castle is strong. A castle has big walls. It's very protective. Um, it looks luxurious. It's massive. It speaks of wealth. It speaks of achievement. It speaks of uh, success in the material world. Um, uh, it, does that define you? Does that how people see you? Is that what you're, uh, how you're wanting to project yourself to other people? The flip side of the castle, it can become a prison. It can be cold. It can be um, impersonal. It can be lonely. What does the castle represent for you? 
Are you working towards maintaining a particular lifestyle that no longer provides for you the enjoyment and the satisfaction and the warmth that you're needing? What is important for you? What are your dreams? What are your goals? Are you feeling lonely? What, do we need, what are you needing to look at and what are you needing to change? So the castle's an interesting one. Shall I read? I'll read it. I'll read you. Um, there we go. I'll read you some of what it says with the castle. Let's have a look. The castle lulls us with its spells of materialism and we fall asleep to our deepest dreams. The castle can be a motivating force, an enchanting goal to travel toward, but it is best not to linger within its walls of decadent deception for too long. This card points to a tendency to hold on to possessions, quite possibly a literal home or a position that, that project the image of achievement. And that can be work as well, can be a relationship, while the soul longs to run barefoot in the forest, leaving it all behind. So there you go, visiting your throne of power. You know, it can also represent being st feeling stuck, feeling stuck within the walls and the confines of a castle, feeling trapped in that. I'm going to draw a card from the Mystic Shaman Oracle deck. Let's see what further information, what expansion of information we can get um, from your channeling. There is change coming in here for you. You've got the Time Master. There is change coming in for you here as well. <clears throat> a time of transition. November is going, my guides are telling me here, November is going to be a time of transition for you. A time of potential change coming in. The Time Master. Sometimes it appears that you are running out of time. You worry you won't get what you need or want interesting because you've got the castle everything gets stuck like a log jam this is only in your mind so you know it does the castle is the castle an entrapment this can be an image it doesn't necessarily need to be something physical it's an image time expands and contracts according to your ability to be mindful and observant fully engage in your now it's time to release the story of your past equally it's time to release your need to know the details of the future all the treasure magically reveals itself when you remain relaxed and present to what is directly in front of you and nothing else. Then you realise you have all the time in the world. You will never run out of it. That's the Time Master. When the Time Master visits you, he asks the most important question. Will you break free from limited cause and effect thinking by moving beyond the linear illusion and welcoming the cyclic quality of time? Because mm. time is cyclic. It repeats itself. The lessons, the, what you, what's there for you is cyclic. It's like a, it spirals. It's not just linear. That's a whole other topic, isn't it? Okay, so... Let's have a look at, also find that playful, playful self, I want to say to you Virgo, where's that playful, playful self, don't forget to play, don't forget to enjoy life, don't forget to stop and smell the roses in November as well, it's not all hard work. Okay, so here we go, I'm going to create the Celtic cross for you and see, you are throwing the cards at me. See what is in store for you in more detail in November. Okay. Right. Here we have it. Your 
see there's a lot of balancing here there's a lot of chewing and throwing and throw, throwing chewing and throwing it's it's to do with your thought processes your your life you know do I you know the, the ledger let's balance the ledger you know um, what do I want what do I have what am I working towards does it make me happy so you're weighing things out you're weighing things out you're tossing things around uh, working things out for yourself um, you've also got the empress and that sort of thought process triggering that thought anything that triggers your thinking anything tr that triggers you to question anything in your life is going to create an improvement is going to create an upward movement is going to make you feel more satisfied it is going to bring you the abundance that you're seeking now abundance is not just financial abundance is all things all things in your life happiness satisfaction um, love material gains it's all of those things is your life balanced is that balanced in your life or is it one is it top heavy is one thing more more intense than the rest? Do you need to um, equal out, balance out um, how you're living your life so that you're bringing in all the abundance, everything that you need? And the Empress speaks of great success in, in that change. You've also got the Hierophant. The Hierophant is about institutions. It's about spirituality. It's about knowledge. It's about ancient wisdom. So you're going to have this sense of knowing that's going to come from a place deep within you, this urge to reassess in November, this urge to look at things differently, this urge to question how you're living your life and if it's making you happy, if it brings you the satisfaction that you're needing. Let's have a look. Can I have a card, please, for Virgo? three of air yeah you see there is it's a it's, a, it's also about assessing the hurt and the heartache and the, the pain and everything you've experienced in the past reviewing all of that and and releasing it releasing it with this ancient knowledge this deeper understanding letting it go releasing it from this because it's keeping you stuck forgiving if you need to forgive healing because when you forgive someone you also heal yourself when you carry a, a grudge or a vendetta or anger uh, or not forgiving it's hurting no one but you it's it becomes a block for you and so releasing that is going to uh, allow you to move forward as well it's going to bring you this added strength this added determination my lovely Virgo so there is determination there is strength there with you you're going to feel empowered you're going to feel in control in November you're going to feel like yes I can do this I can bring in the changes that I want I can create the life that I want there is this um, this strength I'm hearing enlightenment that comes with you uh, this this movement forward this realization you're going to have these aha moments as well um, in in November I really like that. I've got cards from other decks. That's what I'm sorting through. They're popping up. Okay, here we go. Have a card, please, with this inner strength. Oh, there's two. Let's have a look at those two. So you've got Will of the Wisp, 
treasures hidden in the shadows and so as you in look at go deep within and really heal the past and look at what's going on in your shadow what's holding you back what are you afraid of um, why are you needing to um, maybe collect wealth to look good for other people there's absolutely um, treasures that you're going to find about yourself you're going to find about you're going to find out how strong you are how determined you can be so there's a real inner growth that's coming a real personal growth that's coming in November I like that and you've got jeweled web of connect connectivity you're connecting the dots you're connecting, okay, these things happened to me in the past, but it propelled me to this particular situation. It propelled me to seek a, a better relationship, to seek a better job, to go and do some further study, to self-improve, um, personally improve myself. It's uh, Connect with spirit. Connect with my guides. What has it taught you? What has it taught you? It's taught you a lot. It's and that's made you stronger. That's made you stronger. So you've also got the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you're ready to move ahead in your future. You're ready to create a new future. You're ready to rethink um, what how you're living and what your um, what is around you, who you're surrounding yourself with. Um, you're ready to move forward. new job, new relationship. Um, for some of you, it's just being on your own, this self-discovery of having the courage to just be on your own, to really explore yourself. So there's this real delving beneath the surface, a real delving beneath the surface here with you in November, which is really good. You've got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, uh, male or female, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini person that is around you that brings you strength that you can talk to that you communicate with that you connect with on um, on a communication level on a um, ability to someone someone that is a good listener that you're you're brainstorming with this is also you finding your strength and determination in moving forward There's a promotion. Who's going for a promotion? Who's going for the promotion? Someone's going for a promotion and it's going to be good. So go for it. Go for the promotion. Don't shy away from challenges. Don't shy away from challenges. Don't, don't shy away from, what's this? Obstacles, the wall. Don't build a wall. Don't get yourself stuck. Have the courage to move forward. Have the courage to bring in the changes that you're wanting to bring in. Whether you're selling a house, buying a house, uh, leaving a relationship, starting a new relationship, uh, starting a new job, getting a promotion, uh, whatever it is for you, don't build a wall. Don't create obstacles. But I don't feel like you will because it crosses with the queen of swords which is a very powerful card of determination and forward movement so there is definitely forward movement there around you very positive it's going to lead to a new beginning a new you a new start um, jumping empty-handed into the void not fearing the future you're going to be feeling very optimistic. Um, there's an a very powerful energy of embracing change, of really desiring a new start. What new start are you desiring? What new start do you want, my lovely Virgo? It's there for you. It is within reach. It, it's moving forward unencumbered. It's leaving all the baggage behind. This is interesting because this card's just lying here, so I'm going to give it to you. A feast of plenty. It's obviously fallen out from the deck before and I didn't notice it. Choices and their consequences. There's a feast of plenty. Taking responsibility for your choices. Um, thinking about it and communicating what it is you want is going to bring you abundance, is going to bring you what you are wanting. 
but you're so ready to make your own decisions without relying on other people to make them for you and you face those consequences. And I feel like they're good consequences because look what you've got. I picked it up when I had the sun in my hand. Um, any... any um, any choices you make are going to have very, very bright, positive um, consequences or results. There's, there's nothing standing between you and success by the end of November. Don't shy away from any hard choices you're needing to make because they're going to have very, very positive results because there's a completely new start coming up for you. The Ace of Swords. There's a new new learning. So are you going for a promotion where you're needing to learn something new? There's new learning here for you. There's new ways of communicating. Are you really delving deep and communicating your inner feelings? A new way of thinking. Great new opportunities coming up, which leads to great success, my lovely Virgos. So whatever it is that is coming up for you in November, don't shy away from it. Make those choices and decisions. You can listen to other people's opinions and other people's ideas, especially if it's this queen of swords um, that's around you. But ultimately the choices are yours. Have the courage to make your own choices, make your own decisions because they're going to have very good results. You know what's right for you. It's time to come out of that that castle. It's time to come out of the protection that you've built around you. Cross that moat, drop the drawbridge and come out and, and connect. Connect with the world around you. Connect with the changes you want to bring in because there's great celebration that's going to come out of it. This could also mean a wedding, an engagement, um, a party of some sort that's come, you know, physically a, a, a celebration. But there is that also represents great success coming your way in November. I'm going to draw a card from the Lantern Oracle for you. Let's see what's in store. Let's, let's see what's in store. Okay. So what have you got? Circles. The circle of life. Remember, it's not linear. Time is not linear. The circle of life. Clarity begins in the eye of the storm. And that is all the adversity you've faced, all the challenges you've faced, the storm that's been brewing around you, when there's that calm in the center, in the eye of the storm, that's where clarity of thought comes. That's where you can make your choices and decisions. There's always storms. There's always obstacles. There's always challenges. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn, to have our soul evolve through the challenges that we face and the resilience we build from it, the knowledge that we gain from these lessons. So that's fantastic. I want to, I'm going to read that because I, I just get this, they're telling me to read it because it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, so let's have a look at what is circles. Our thoughts, emotions, behaviours and relationship patterns are potentially detrimentally circular when they remain unconscious. And that means that if you don't learn from a past challenge, you, you refuse to learn from it, it will come around again and you and the same situation will, will appear again a little bit harder until you learn from it. Um, so it just, it's circular. Without acknowledging that we do not know what we are doing or how to get different results, it seems as though the same disappointments, ruts and detours keep happening to us. This is because we do not realise our subconscious part in these unwanted recurrences, nor that we have the power to exit the unmerry-go-round. It's interesting because I mentioned a merry-go-round. They told me about that, didn't they? If we do nothing different, nothing different happens. We will only continue to reenact our default setting automatically. A life lived in circles inevitably limits what is possible for us. It can also be particularly harmful when toxic relationships, addictions, 
or financial dependence is involved. Awareness of how we perpetuate more of the same is necessary before we can consciously create an upward and outward spiral of life for ourselves. The key is to become aware of the highly charged and compulsive psychological dynamics influencing us. Without clarity, we cannot exit the circular rut that has some sort of magnetic toxicity at its core. That's interesting. To support you in this process, journal your responses to the following prompts. And there's a whole lot of prompts. You know, you're stuck in your life. Um, highlight thoughts, patterns, cycles that you're in. What, send, what, what sends your, your confidence spiralling down? You know, that helps you to find the, the causes, what you're needing to learn. But that's coming up re here really. You're going to be really looking at that in the car, coming out of the castle and the time master is asking you to look at that so that you can move forward with positivity. But you see that positive growth absolutely um, through the second half of November. There is forward movement. I'm going to give you a card from Divine Abundance and see what is in store there for you, my lovely Virgo. Uh, can I have a card for Virgo, please? Sanctity. Hmm, that's interesting. Sanctity. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. Yeah, you see, it's about finding the blessings in your problems, in your challenges, in what you've faced in the past. Find the, the, the positive energy. Find the gift that has been offered you in the learning. They're pearls of wisdom for you. Oh, pearls of wisdom. Look at what's around the castle. Pearls. Pearls of wisdom. Pearls of wisdom. That will show you how to exit, how to leave that situation. I wish you love, light and blessings, my lovely Virgo. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. Don't forget your yearly 2022 readings the offers available till the end of January so book that if you are wanting that and thank you for if you like this video give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate your support love light and blessings to you my lovely Virgo